Forward Ted Kapita received some good news Friday night. He was declared eligible by the NCAA. Eligible point blank look for Anya that he's going to convert you know, 100 times out of 100. And you go jam it. How about the offensive moves from Small right there? Calls him a turnover. Well, the big man. That's his first miss. The point. Point lead. The Terriers four of nine from three. Capita again. Well, you got it. And that's really what we saw in the first half as well. NC State got into the bonus. There's a pretty alley oop to Capita. Good high size advantage inside. Capita had his hand up. He wanted the ball on the six foot six Montgomery. Johnson dishes it to him, and he scores. Coming back and getting back in this game. I know it's a long game. But they need to do something to Kapita and just corral the air ball. Johnson, a little hesitation, dribble. Oh, that's done. Second foul. You can see this. So he's been, he's been through the wall, so he's not going to be afraid. He has to do what he has to do to try to get his team back in it. And I figured he'd start taking more shots. Ted Capita stays per they want to. Capita will hand off the door. Three on the shot clock. He'll shoot. Short on a really nice player. Doyle scored double figures in each of his last seven games. Guard outside to find the open shooter. He's got eight. Loyola four of seven from behind. Uh, better than five and a half assist to turnover ratio. And he and Smith have combined so to go by the NCAA. So it was it was really like an hour before right. tip-off. It was last minute. So <laughs> this is his first game. Good, good. Peter, with that layup, maybe can give uh, a boost of energy. It has tied its largest lead of the game, 17. And it's awfully efficient offensively. Well, that's what you need from your leader, Doyle. A nice dribble penetration bucket. A tough shot. NC State still with an opportunity on this end of the floor. Doyle's all-time meeting between NC State and St. Francis. Yeah, they're... Well, he's a senior, so he's not going to be afraid. So he's, he's been through. Yeah, he wasn't much shy all... either. Yeah. Dating back to last year, so already well on his way to that mark. Ted Capita is in for NC State. Games that really matter in ACC games, you know, you're really going to win it on the defensive end, and they just need to learn that, and I'm sure they'll be fine. Come over and help out. Four pass from Capita. Again, part of that freshman class. They go to Anya in the post. Well, he likes that left hook. There's Capita with the offensive. Offensive board to Capita. He's offensive rebound is there. It's a boo. Another board by Capita, and he just great ball movement. Found the open man. Johnson a bit too strong. What a rebound by Capita. Minutes. Montgomery backs him down. Montgomery, right hook, too strong. Today, no word on just how long he'll be out with the concussion that he sustained against Georgia Southern on Friday night late in that ball game. Inside, Capita does a nice I like that lineup for NC State. They're really athletic, and they got two guys that can protect the rim and rebound. Made it into double figures, and Smith with the lay-in. So that balance scoring from NC State, they've got to you know, do that. You know, right now they're a little thin up front, you know, with Omir Yurt seven out. Jackson backing down Capita. It's Custer trying to go to work on Johnson, and he had him blocked. Tremendously in that regard. You could see it in the first possession. He was on the floor. Oh, yeah, that, that'll help because he's a, a, a big, active guy. So he's NC State has taken just one. So you can see the emphasis from Coach Godfrey. Yeah, well, Coach Godfrey probably went back and watched the tape and saw how NC State was. 
Three on the way, is good. Sanabria, leaning away and Kapai from the floor. Right. And it's opened up a 15 point Wolfpack advantage. The big possession right now for St. Francis. Brim. Torin Dorn has 12 points and five rebounds in 20 minutes. Kirk with a huge to look and see areas where you know he needs to improve, and he's done that. Lead important possession here. Len Breika coaching him up from the sideline, directing traffic. Both teams. Boy, it was up out to find the open man. And Henderson has all seven of NC State's points. They double. Richardson, three. Settling for the three-point shot. Olofsson's knocked down the three. He'll take it inside. And a size advantage. He has an athletic advantage as well. And he was able to draw some help. And Back to Iceland. And so just like that, two players gone that they were expecting to have. So get the ball out and run your offense. Hopkinson will find an open. He get, went and, and got get a, a bucket. bucket. And he, <laughs> he got the free throw. So it's a very good free throw shooter. Or the offensive rebound, pardon me, leading to a crucial foul. Dunn will take it inside. Splits Capita. And entry pass. Bodrick kicks it. Porter. It Olofsson works it around. Sanabria, tough shot. Want to get out of him, and he's been, he's been, I, I'll say it again, he's been my glue guy. Right there, getting a hand on a loose player. Uh, very skilled, very good footwork. He can stretch the floor, he can shoot it. And Dennis Smith. Ingram, open for three. Back and commit fouls in going for offensive rebounds. Okay, they just have not gone away. going to go to the boards, and that's what he does. So he, he, he doesn't try to get out. Hang around, keep yep. it close, maybe make something happen towards the end. Yeah, because it's, it's only a 13-point game. Right. Only six on the shot clock. Dunn gets it away to Hopkinson. Going to have to force up a three into Henderson. Missed everything. Shot clock start. Long three on the way. Again, a high screen and roll. Five on the shot clock. Hopkinson again. And it is just right. Well, he just gets some guys in there, uh, you know, gritty, tough guys, uh, sort of like, you know. He's glad to be back on the court. Could not make the trip to the U.S. Virgin Islands. Another three. And finally, one doesn't. 